What's up, everybody? It's James Aldridge here from cartetphotography.com. I'm going to get on my high horse here for a minute, and I'm going to bring up a subject that is hitting quite close to home at the moment regarding local photographers to me. Now, this is a warning to people out there that run their own business, that whether it be photography-related or not, um, in the form of... I'm seeing too many people, too many amateurs, too many, it doesn't matter if you're an amateur or not, too many people claiming to be photographers and basically ripping people off. Now, I'm not talking about overcharging for a print or anything like that. Prints are irrelevant. This is where it's going into, you're taking people's money, supposedly going to provide them with a service, not doing that job, full stop, or doing the job and not fulfilling on promises that you've made. Now, the rent is about a local photographer to me who has taken somebody's money. Now, this isn't the first time. This is just one example um, where he's taken someone's money in the form of the deposit about a week or so before the shoot was meant to take place. He cancelled a, a portrait shoot and said that he couldn't do the shoot for whatever reason. I think he gave an excuse of, excuse that he was ill. Um so the lady in question then contacted myself. I ended up doing the shoot. As we were talk going through the shoot, we were talking about it. And he, the story that he had basically fed this lady was contradictory to what I had heard from looking at his Facebook statuses, um, that his messages on Facebook were that he was gallivanting around London. Um, well, if you don't provide a service or if you can't fulfill the service that you were hired for and the woman has asked for a refund you are legally required to return 100% of that money in a quick and efficient manner now I've spoken to this lady in question uh, a few weeks ago and the problem was still unresolved she had not heard a dicky bird from this gentleman and she is still waiting to find out if she's going to get any money now I've suggested to her that she take this matter further she go to a small claims court, um, send him a letter regarding the payment or, or the refund and say that with, you know she wants a written response within seven days. If she doesn't, then she takes it further. Um, I don't know if that's happened or not. I do hope she has. But this isn't the first time this has happened. And this photographer in question, who I'm not even going to call a photographer anymore. Uh, it's been too generous. He's become too well known as a scam artist. He is becoming too well known as a fraudster. And he is just ruining the reputation of himself. I'm not too worried about if he what he's doing to the photo photography community. They said the photography community is big enough and bold enough and bad enough to stand up for itself and should be able to speak for itself and say, you know, one man's actions doesn't reflect the rest of us. But what he is doing is wrong. It is one, breaking the law, two, it's morally wrong. And it, sh it shouldn't be it shouldn't be happening. If you're doing this, whether you've done it once, whether you've done it many times, whether you even contemplated it, if you were thinking about not fulfilling your duties, if someone is paying you for a service and you are not thinking or you're thinking about not doing that job, don't keep the money. Do not keep the money. That is technically theft. I don't want to go on through this too long, but this is just a warning to people out there that if you do it, you will get caught. You will get run out of town, not literally, but your name will be dragged through the mud. Your reputation will be worth shit. People will find out about this and you will not get a dicky bird of work. Dicky bird of work, is that right? I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm banging on about. I don't want to see this happening. If I see it happening... And if somebody comes to me and says, so-and-so has taken my money, not provided me with a job, I will fight for them. I will stand in their corner and fight for them. Whether I know this person or not, I'm going to get involved because I can't stand to see people ripped off. That was my rant. Please don't give me a uh, reason to get back on here and uh, go off on one. But one day... This will be uh, aired and you'll see it and you'll hopefully see the error always. Hopefully you won't be doing this.
but if you are don't so simple as that that's me over and out i'm going to climb back down off of my high horse i'm going to go get me a beer peace